Hey guys, today, oh, let me just, today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a texture pack, because that's what I said I would do. Um, so it is going to be a little awkward here, but what you, you need, the two things that you really, really need for a texture pack of any sort, you need, uh, some sort of archiver. I have pzip, this thing, it, um, you need to be able to, um, decode zip and dot jar files dot zip and dot jar um you also need photoshop or something like that paint microsoft paint will not work because it does not work with is not compatible with uh um see through uh textures now um so what you first need to do is open up your um uh, your dot minecraft and you can do that by going into either just going into your roaming category or whatever or you can um, uh, e easier just open up your start menu here and once you've done that type percent app data percent and then you know percent sign app data percent sign um, that gets you to um, this which is roaming and then dot minecraft into this. Um, right now, my texture pack is sitting in my texture packs folder. An easier way to get to the texture packs folder is to just go into um, Minecraft and hit, and go into the texture packs thing and said open my, uh, texture pack folder. But as of yet, I want to get rid of this because um, uh, SW Nerd Guy, who is my one subscriber, um, pointed out that my uh, what is it? Oh yeah, my my texture pack, the the snow dirt block and the uh, grass dirt block have two different textures on them, so I'm gonna fix that right now. Um, two minutes, okay, I got a little bit. You go into your bin. Thank you. Um, you copy. Oh, sorry, no. You go. You right-click this. P zip. Add to archive. Once you've done that. Um, you say archive or whatever and it puts it right in here I, I believe that's what it does take that put it in a separate document I'm gonna grab that here I called it uh, Adele in Minecraft creations um, and you should have achievement oh no 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 you at sorry um, why don't I just show you guys so pzip uh, I think it's open as archive actually so I'm gonna wait while this pzip loads there we go yeah open as archive and go down and everything that has to do with uh, um, like not class like you want uh, not lang you want PNG see how it has all these PNGs you can um, highlight all of them, I don't remember how I did it but you highlight all of these keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, so on so forth and then after you've done all that you also want to take pack.text um, this allows you to uh, name your texture pack but so that's that and now I have my file here, like I showed you earlier. Um, you want terrain, particles, pack, pack, title, terrain, and everything. Um, under GUI, which is the create, oh, um, the graphic interface, you go into items. Or sorry, um, you need Photoshop open for this. So let me just okay. Ah, okay. There we go. Um, so let me just open Photoshop here, and because my screen capture thing is so small, there's gonna be some confusion here. But there's many different places that you can grab things from. Oh, there we go. Here comes Photoshop. Give it a minute.
Okay, I found it. Um, I'm just gonna show you where it is. This, right here. That's the terrain, literally, terrain. You don't find it anywhere else. So just grab that, drag it in here. Uh, drag it, yeah, click, click and drag. Here, I'm gonna maximize this and it's gonna be kinda difficult, but dirt, let's see here. That block. Where's my snow block? Um, there, back up here. Snow block, snow block, snow block. My dirt block. Where's my snow block? Okay, I'm gonna pause this again so I can figure out where my snow block is. Just give me a second, guys. I'm having issues. Okay, so I found it. It's right here, and the dirt block is just up to the left. You guys can't see that. Um, here, let me zoom in here. Oh, okay. This, this with the screen capture thing, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna show you like this. So the snow block is here. Dirt block is here. What I want to do is grab my. Oh, where is it? My eyedropper. No, not my eyedropper. My um rectangular marquee tool and I'm gonna zoom in just so I can make this easier on myself here no not that there I'm just gonna grab one of these textures oh wait no ah you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna um erase this texture inside here and once you've done that you can hit the eraser button and just once you've um, grabbed the uh, the rectangular marquee tool or you know the kind of the lasso tool sort of thing you could erase everything inside that square and just kind of randomly scribble with the eraser and it doesn't erase anything outside that then what you want to do is grab the marquee tool grab uh, this part here which is um, you know that you can see that part sorry um, edit, copy, draw another box where you want the, uh, thing to go, and then you can, uh, paste. And now, um, it looks the same as my dirt block, or, yeah, my, um, snow block. I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna pause the video, do this this really quickly here, um, and hopefully not mess anything up here. Okay, um, apparently I can't be filming while I'm doing this, so give me a moment here while I... Oh, okay, this is ridiculous. For whatever reason, I cannot, um, um, you know, do stuff right now. Here, let me just uncapture that and then erase this really carefully why isn't my eraser working okay I'm sorry guys um I'll be back again after this all right so now that I fixed that fixed this that was that was really annoying you do file uh save and it saves as a copy some if, if it doesn't work um, what you have to do is you'll have to check if that if there's any extra layers. If there are layers, what you have to do is um, flatten image, which makes all the layers flatten into one thing, so it doesn't look absolutely retarded. Um, either that, or you save as a .png, but sometimes it doesn't work. So, or um, yeah, that's that's what I wanted to get through. So now we can close this. And if we look at terrain in our random image viewer thing, um, it should, yep, it looks the same. Um, so now we can go into our bin, take, oh, sorry, no, we can go into our texture packs cache thing. Wait, oh, I forgot one thing. Um, you go in here, you select everything, and then you add to archive and it usually takes a moment especially when I'm filming which really sucks hurry up please I don't have much time left save it as zip normal single volume yes 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 whatever uh, and then you hit OK um, all, all of them are different but you make sure that you save it as a zip hit OK wait for it to finish there it's completed it saved it to there you can move it wherever you want but what you need to do now like you can change the file name when you 
when you do that, but you move it to um, texture packs, your, your texture pack folder. Um, you can then close that. Make sure you didn't save a copy the other way. Well, actually, you could save a copy if you wanted to. But when that's done, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys what happens when it's uh, added to Minecraft. So, uh, oh, all right, okay, okay. If your if your um, texture pack doesn't immediately work, like my my uh, cobblestone is different than the original texture pack. So if it doesn't work. Uh, make sure that you actually went into your texture pack folder and click your texture pack. Back in, play temple. Him. Uh, what the, what the, what the? Okay. The point is that, um, uh, uh, Dirt and everything looks different. See, I changed the grass block, I changed the dirt block, and the snowy grass block is also the same. Now I need to go back. Okay, I'm gonna have to look through my um, trash. I'm very glad I didn't empty it and redo the textures here. Because for whatever reason, it saved over and made it really strange. I can still climb giant sheets of. Uh, Randomness, though. See, climb giant sheets of randomness. Um, that is my texture pack video. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it usually works. So, um, see you next time, guys.